You know, I was out on playing 18 today with old 45 and Herschel Walker, and we were on the back nine, and my phone rang, and I looked down, and it was Clover High School. I said, gosh, guys, I should answer this. Maybe they're going to change the name from the, from the Walking Eagles to the Gladiators, finally, and I got all excited. And who was it? It was old Rob Ruth, old Double R himself, and he said, Mr. Gladiator, he said, I, I got a problem. He said, you know, we got this uh, fundraiser coming up, and it's a big wrestling show. And he said, who do we got? We got a bunch of has-beens. One thinks he's an alien, the other one's an that should be an AA. And they're going to wrestle these internet job boys who are all mad because one of the has-beens wouldn't sign his autograph when he was 14 years old and he missed sneaking into a bar. And people were supposed to pay to see that crap. And then we thought Ricky Steamboat would draw, and now we're scared Ricky ain't going to show up since you challenged him. And Bill Eady can't do it himself. The old demolition acts. He can't draw the crowd himself, so could you, could you come down? Could you come down and sell some tickets for us? And I told Rob, I said, Double R, I said, let me get, finish playing golf with my buddies here because we're trying to figure out how to save Ukraine, save America, and what tech stocks we need to be trading. And I'll call you back. And I thought long and I thought hard about it, Rob, and I tell you what, I'm going to come down there. I got one thing you got to do for me, though. If I'm going to come down there, I'm going to sell tickets for you and I'm going to help you raise money. You see, everybody knows when last time we were in Clover, I showed up and me and you wrestled and I beat you from pillar to post and coast to coast and I had you there on the ground and I was about to put your poor wife out of her misery and crack your neck. Then I looked out in the front row and who did I see? I, I saw you, you little girl and she was wearing a golden gladiator shirt and she had a tear in her eye because her hero, that's me, was about to kill her deadbeat daddy. And I felt bad about it, Rob, so I let you live, and then you took a few days off, and then you come back to school, and you tell everybody that you beat me. And if that makes you feel fine, that's whatever. You know, I know the truth. I know that I pinned you. But I tell you what, old Noble R, you go find you a partner. I don't care if it's the football coach or get the wrestling coach again or get you a real wrestler to do it or maybe one of those linebackers you call lunch ladies. Get one of them, and I'm going to bring on GG3 down. It'll be the Golden Gladiators. You put it on the marquee. The Golden Gladiators versus Double R and a mystery partner. And we're going to sell the place out. So you got that? So March 16th, I'm coming back to Clover to help you idiots sell tickets. Because the has-beens and the internet job boys. And did anybody even know Arn Anderson had a son? I didn't. Okay. So selling tickets, raising money. All you got to do, Rob, you got to agree to my terms. Double R and a mystery partner versus the gladiators. So you got to decide. Do you want to accept my challenge? Are you going to show up? Huh? Because you know what? I'm going to go play another round of golf tomorrow. I'll be waiting on the answer.